Hello and welcome to India Show episode number 435. I'm your host, Norman Sanzo. And well, we got some news for you this week. And there are quite a lot, there are quite a lot. So anyway, let's not dilly dally and let's hop right into it. So, first news is Renegade Game Studio brings, or, yeah, brings new role playing game and deck building game to My Little Pony. Yes. So I'm just gonna read out the uh, things that Mr. wrote. And Ponies and D&D has been something both we and the show have celebrated for years. The tale of Equestria book have kept us entertained for a while on that front. But it looks like the concept might be expanding by Renegade Studios if their recent press release is an indication. After their success with Power Rangers, they have started work on games for both My Little Pony, G.I. Joe, and Transformers. They don't have specifications on what exactly the product each of this brand will get, but there is a good chance we will get the full host of tabletop games uh, from a manual for the D style adventure to the deck building game they mentioned near the start. Expect more in the coming months. So yes, uh, I recently checked out what was it? Uh, Renegade Game Studios. Renegade Game Studios, right? Yeah. Um, and they have a plethora of games under their belt, and it seems that they are specializing in the what you call this. Uh, tabletop games? Give me a second. Let me see. Oh, this is so bright. And here we are. Okay, right. Um, we, we can see that, okay, in terms of what they have in for games, they have, well, this. Uh, Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, uh, Vampires. I wonder if this is Vampires Masquerade. Let's see. Are you? Oh yes, Vampire the great. Yeah, a popular IP, so that's great. They have that under their belt, and Power Rangers. Uh, what is this? Power Rangers Hero of the Grid, and there is a lot of expansion for this one, and that's awesome. And I this one looks like a deck building game, because you have a lot of uh, things that are being added here. Oh, you got dice too. That's cool. That's cool. But um, yes, we can see that. <laughs> sorry, uh, we can see that their um, experience in games have been a lot. And what will ponies get in the future? Who knows? Because we can't really tell. Uh, it looks like they got deck building games, board games, and so on. I haven't seen the D and D manuals, but they're there. They're there. Well, what happens if we click on shops? At least it's missing. Oh, this this is cool. This is cool. So anyway, getting back on track. <coughs> um, it seems that we might get another D and D style board game or game on our hands. Uh, if you have a what you call this? If you have a GM that is willing to try this with you guys, that would be cool. Also, who knows, if it's a deck building game, you guys could gather a few friends who are into ponies and just give it a shot. Who knows? Uh, if you can play it at your local LGS, if you are able to, that's awesome. If not, uh, there is always online, but the uh, <laughs> problem with online is that the game is well if it's a deck building game it's affecting the board and whatnot if it's an rpg it's not that bad i'm sure you guys are creative and will find a way how to play it let's move on to the next news and my little pony musical official soundtrack demo yes so i'm just going to summarize this up <coughs> a while back there was going to be the My Little Pony live stage play. Uh, we've seen a 
bit of pictures going on around the interwebs showing how uh, the costume is going to be like and whatnot. But because of the recent pandemics, things have been put to a halt. We got no idea if it's going to be continuing back or not. But uh, it seems that the um, composer and the guy who makes the song, uh, Jeff Tom Thompson, uh, Jeff Thompson, and you know I'm just gonna click here. Um, I, 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 I check it out. It didn't play. So um, yeah, Jeff Thompson here uploaded the. Oh God, why? Uh, yeah. Thanks, 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 SoundCloud. Thanks. Sorry. Um, the soundtrack that he has, or just the demo, are uploaded on SoundCloud, and they're not bad. Uh, th there's the songs are based on the characters. Like um, what best party ever is a song that, from what I can tell, is just an introduction song for the play, and then there's Discord doing what I do. And rarity shine, so this seems like something fun. Um, from what I can, from what I listened to, it was not bad, and yeah, clearly it was made for the stage. I am babbling right now. Anywho, let's move on to the next one. Okay, My Little Pony G Five news continues from Hasbro's panel at Festival of Licensing. So mm, I'm gonna summarize this one. They had their presentation and whatnot, and said that Generation Five of new, uh, sorry, Generation Five of ponies are just going to be new, new staff and crew. But they did say that uh, the possibility of returning old cast would be there. And when you mention old cast, that could mean many things. It could be the return of the main six in a cameo form. Or it could be way back when from Generation 1. Or it could be just some of the background characters popping in, just saying hello. Uh, what? Muffins is a good one. Octavia and Vinyl would be great. And more. Like, the idea is boundless. Like, there's there. But beyond that, we got no idea what this is going to be entailing. Because what they mentioned G6 is going to be their new art, st art style with 3D graphics and whatnot. So we'll see. We'll see. Um, I'm just going to put my expectation at a neutral level. Because the last time when I said that I have high hopes, we got Pony Life. Hmm. So anywho, this is really fun and I can't wait to see G5. But it would be interesting to see if G5 is a continuation of G4. Because when you start a new generation, it kind of resets the board or resets the lore and whatnot. And this is their own thing. But if you pull a, whatchamacall this, old cast coming around, what does this mean? I is it G4 being there, saying hello? Or you have some temporal time mess shenanigans going on where the timeline are split into where... It's possible to get in the uh, old, older ponies. Or it could be, what, the old voice actors, Andrea Littman, Tabitha St. Germain, Ashley Ball, Katie Westlock, being in G5 as voices. Who knows? So that's something to consider for the future. And the next one is, Pony Life gets a bump on Discovery Family. Finally. So... If you guys are new or haven't heard or live under a rock, Pony Life is the sequel or spiritual sequel to My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. After season 9 was done and overall Ponies was done, uh, Pony Life is one of the shows that is kind of um, inserted after Season 9. Um, this could be a placeholder before season, uh, sorry, G5 and whatnot, but uh, Pony Life is considered their new series. 
uh, aim. It feels like they're aiming it for kids, but I don't really know uh, beyond that. Uh, the show, or the first season of the show, has has concluded on the Canada Treehouse. Yeah, so Canadian TV is what got this first, and it's finished. Now, Pony Life on Discovery Family, that's something else. Uh, this is the first time that the United States of America will have this. So we'll see how that goes because the show has already finished and mm, mm, they're just coming soon. Go no idea when. Mm. But anyway, um, uh, moving on to the last news for the week, Lauren Faust tweets about ten years of Pony. So I I forgot to mention that My Little Pony Friendship is Magic has been around or how it was last year was the final season and that was very heart touching and emotional but this one here october 10th 2000 sorry october 10th 2020 marks the 10th year of my little pony being around and the show has sparked a lot of uh, or has inspired a lot of people watching the show and making music and creative content. Like this show has gave birth to this one right now. So beyond that, uh, this show is just awesome. So anyway, um, moving on to what Lauren said. So uh, she, you know, I'm just gonna summarize here because there's a lot of things she wrote down. So, uh, she's very thankful for, uh, what you call this, for being part of the show, uh, getting or inspiring great artists, inspiring music, uh, creative minds, and so on. Like, My Little Pony Friendship is Magic has been there for up and coming voice actors actress and artists and musicians like if you remember one of the songs um give me a second uh what i i think it's okay anyway, um the song addicted from silver hound uh that song there is well pretty popular and it's about has been hotel but silver hound got well known or rose up in popularity because of My Little Pony. A lot of people know him there and a lot of people just, how do you put it, just latch on to him and love his music, The Living Tombstone and so on. Uh, even artists, uh, what, Brayburn? Brayburn is a popular artist. I won't gonna, I, I'm not gonna say what he draw. If you know, you know. If not, um, you can always check his divine art. But still, um, he himself or all of them have started in My Little Pony just to create awesome arts. Uh, a lot of people I met from my years of doing stuff has been from this and so on. I mean, this show has, well, changed a lot of people and that's really awesome. <coughs> oh man. Um, but one of the things Lauren mentioned that yes, she's grateful, grateful for all the awesome things, and yeah, this show is just something else, yo. So anyway, um, that is the news for this week, and well, let's move on to the next topic, and next topic is going to be um, well, <laughs> uh, what have I been doing my week? And well, what I have I been doing my week has been pretty simple. Uh, I went to a fair, I rode this extreme ride where I got strapped onto a chair and spun around. And I did another version of that where it was scary, but not really. But overall, the fair was fun. 
and probably wondering, oh, what happened with all the pandemic and whatnot? We all were, uh, we all had to wear a mask and keep our distance at a meter's length. So, yay, uh, we'll we, we we follow all those things and we should be safe. Knock on wood. And other than that, I went bowling. Yes, didn't score much. I was the lowest in my group of four. I don't do sports. I even chip a nail, and that's painful. But I had a lot of fun. Had a lot of fun. We went stuff and do stuff. It was pretty cool. Other than that, nothing much. Just going to start on editing and stuff. A lot of things. A lot of things. Um, what else? On the other channel side, I haven't been doing much. I, I really need to think of more content for that one. But anyway, um, let's wrap it up. So if you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at themeshwishwishwishwishwishwishwishwishwishwishwishwishwishwishwishwishwishwishwishwishwishwishwishwishwishwishwishwishwishwishwishwishwishwishwishwishwishwishwishwishwishwishwishwishwishwishwishwishw